welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would show you what I picked up in a big Poundland Halloween haul. I took myself off down there the other day and they have so much stuff. And I was just like, yes, I'm having that, I'm having that. Because lockdown and COVID and all of the restrictions are meaning that our normal Halloween of spending it with friends and trick or treating around the neighborhood has been put on hold until next year or the year after or the year after and i thought you know what when i was little we would just have a little party at home just me and maybe one other friend i didn't have a sibling at that point because there's eight years between me and my sister so me and another friend and that would be it i have three kids they have enough children to keep themselves occupied with a little party so i thought you know what let's have a halloween party so i went down to poundland and I want to show you everything that I got. If you're new to my channel, then welcome, welcome. I'm Katie and I'm a mum of three. I've been thinking about other things to tell you, like I'm a mum of three and I don't actually know. So at the moment, I'm a mum of three and I'm working on the other things. But this channel is all about keeping it real. I'm always honest. I'm always showing you real life. That's what this is all about. No fakery, no show home or anything like that. Just real life, real me. So I've got a bag full of goodies. I'm gonna tip everything out so you can see exactly what we got. I'm not gonna show anything in any particular order. So first up, we have got these two little pumpkins and they are supposed to glow. There you go. You can see that they change colors just like that. So two little pumpkins. I mean, I'm, the thing is, nothing's just a pound anymore. I'm guessing these were a pound each, um, but who knows? This one doesn't even work actually, so that's no good possibly the bit of paper is still stuck in there i'll have to have a little look but that one doesn't even work next up is a spooky projector which i mean i don't even know hopefully this one will work okay so here it is and as you can see it has got lots of different shapes cut out and then um you have to add your own batteries and that will project all of those images onto the walls around you so i mean the nights are dark now so that's going to be great lily wants to dress up as a bat so she has chosen these i still need to find her a black dress or something um but she's got some little bat ears some eyeballs no particular function other than they are just some plastic eyeballs that I'm going to, I'm going to buy a big tub of sweets. So we won't be doing door to door trick or treating. They can just dive on in, into the bowl. But in the bowl of sweets are going to be some eyeballs. We have got some plates that I, I haven't actually decided what we're going to make. Maybe some chicken nuggets with some syringes of blood or something. Um, ketchup uh on these little platters so this is what they will help themselves to from the party table there were other matching things as well i think there are bowls and cups but i thought well, i don't need those but um i thought tablecloth can't go wrong with a spooky boo tablecloth so got that too i like this and what I really like about most of the things that I've got is that I can just pack it away and use it again next year. I'm not going to be like, oh, every year I'm going to do another Poundland haul. Sorry, that's not the channel for this. This will be reused next year. So this is spider web bunting. So it comes with little ribbon and I guess you just thread it yourself. Um, and then so this could be hung around our living room. This is a little Halloween bat get him out where is he oh i see there we go so he just comes flat like that and you just bend him around it's a bit like a box and then you lift up his wings and then he can just hang from wherever you hang him he's cute bag of spiders so again these can go i'll put them on the tablecloth and i put put a few of them in the sweet tea bowl as well i took the kids with me when i went shopping um and they were like we have to have this so it's a light up spider's web let's get it out will it work that's the question oh it requires batteries of course it does so let's have a look okay so it's quite big oh and it has a little spider on there as well so 
that will be all lit up. What I'll do is I'm going to decorate as soon as I've finished filming this video. So I'll do a little sweep around the room so you can see everything in situ. That's quite big. I like that. Don't know where I'll hang it, but I like it. I couldn't help myself. I had to get myself something. I mean, they're all dressing up. I want to dress up. It says, witch, better have my candy. Um, I apologise for that accent. <laughs> I got it in a couple of sizes too big for myself, but actually I think that will fit. So um, I think the Poundland sizings come a little bit uh, small. So this is actually a size 16. I'm a 12, um, but this actually looks like it will just be the right size. There we go. Love it. See, yeah, that's to me, that's a perfect fit. I don't like it too tight. Grace wants to be the Wicked Witch of the West or the East, whichever one doesn't get hit by the house. And so she saw this and thought, yes, this is the sort of necklace she would wear. So she wants to wear this necklace and be all witchy. She also wanted a cape. So she's just going to wear a black dress, the choker. She wants a witch's hat, which I couldn't find a witch's hat. I'm sure we have one somewhere though. It'll be fine. And yeah, she got this cape. So I don't know what it's made of. Possibly plasticky. Yeah, it's a plasticky. Could have just made it out of a bin bag and it would have been fine. But there we go. It has a hood. So... There we go. Just a literally basic, almost a bin bag, plastic cape. Tinsel spider, why not? That can frighten everybody on the coffee table. I love it. Another one of the children's picks. This is a glow-in-the-dark skeleton, so this can probably hang on our door. I'm going to have to make sure the dog doesn't get hold of all of this stuff. So everything's going to be hung up high, but um, yeah, this can hang on our door. I also picked up some freaky fabric which i'm guessing is just black fabric and i'm going to hang it somewhere i mean i i don't know uh actually i'm sure i got some of this last year in, in a beigey color and it actually stayed up for months i forgot i hung it so it just stayed up for months um and it is it's just like this i don't know if you can see that if i it's just sort of real like patchy that's a look isn't it um real patchy stringy fabric loads of holes in it you wouldn't know if it was ripped because it doesn't really matter and you can just drape that somewhere maybe over the window like over the curtain pole or something to dangle down also found some sweets by chew it's chew it's spooky sweets and so there's some teeth and some fingers and some eyeballs um and i thought they would just add to the fun of whatever other big tub that I get. And then the final thing is a little pass the parcel game. I really like these. We've played these quite a bit every year, like either for Halloween or sometimes they do um, Christmas pudding ones at Christmas. This is an eyeball one. I seem to have gone for eyeball themed things this year. Um, so it's an eyeball and literally just you unwrap a layer and generally, yeah, it says jokes and six prizes so i think you unwrap a layer and it'll have a joke or it might have a little um they have like pla you know i mean it's a load of tat really isn't it um but you know like jumping spiders and things um and then i don't know there'll be something in the middle who knows oh it even tells it it even tells you it's got a dracula's nail a rattlesnake toy a horsefly a moustache you know one of those ones that you have to like stab up your nose that never fit anyone an eye patch and a spider and here we go one of the jokes what do ghosts use to wash their hair shampoo that's gonna be a lot of fun i can tell so that is past the parcel eyeball and that is everything that i got there were loads of things on offer i didn't get everything because that would be ridiculous i just wanted to get a few things just to make it halloweeny and spooky just for a little party that we're gonna have next saturday because that's the 31st and also some things that I just knew that I could put away for next year, like the, the material and the skeleton, you know, things I can use year on year. I don't want to just go out and buy wastefully. Uh, but there were some really lovely things and I know, and if, let me know if you've managed to get one, they have got some really lovely uh i don't know if they're real glass i doubt they're real glass but they look like glass 
skulls and glass pumpkins that light up and they look amazing i've seen i've seen some um, and they are like gold dust apparently so let me know if you managed to get any i'd love to know what you're doing this year for halloween do you celebrate it at all or do you not are you going to be going trick-or-treating i know a few neighborhoods have said like we'll put out individual bags of sweets or are you going to just stay at home are you going to have a party are you ignoring the whole thing whatever you're doing stay safe and have fun and i will see you again next week with another upload bye